Luke, firstly, congratulations. Must be a really good feeling being back in the Super League Grand Final. Yeah, thanks, mate. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. Uh, really buzzing for you know, all the lads, all the staff that we get to you know, go to Old Trafford next week. I feel like it's, you know, it's been paid off for all our hard work all year. Uh, and tonight's performance was awesome, so hopefully we can replicate that next week and uh, yeah. get, get the win. Being in the Grand Final is one thing, but coming into the back of it off, off that performance, you must be you know, really confident ahead of the week and uh, what's to come on Saturday. Yeah, we'll definitely be confident, especially off the back of that. Uh, you know, we just got to do what we do and uh, you know, produce the same again next week. No, Hull Car will be a, be a tough game, but you know, I, think, I think if we're at our best, we'll give ourselves a good chance. What was the key to that today? Because you started fast, it was 10 15 minutes, the game didn't really open up, but you always looked in control. Yeah, that was it, really, just to get the start right. Um, you know, I think uh, we knew it was going to be physical at the start, and I thought if we, you know, if we won that physical battle and sort of come through on top, we'd, it'd give us a good chance of winning the game, and I felt like we did that tonight and uh, yeah, run, away from it, run away with it from there. So. And obviously Hull KR away, they've had an outstanding season, you've had some great battles with them. They're going to be well up for it, their first grand final, obviously you guys defending champions. It should be some spectacle, shouldn't it? Yeah, like you said, we've had some good battles with them this year, so I'm sure it'll be another one next Saturday. Uh, yeah, like I said before, we'll try and be at our best and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll come out on top. But just a word on the atmosphere tonight, over 20,000 in here, it felt like a semi-final, it felt like a big night. That must have given you an extra kind of 10% in the tank. Yeah, definitely. You know, fans have been unreal all year. Uh, I want to say a big thanks to them, and uh, I'm sure they'll be behind us next week as well. So, yeah, please, we can get the result from tonight, and hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll put the cherry on the cake next week. One win away from winning the treble. I'm sure winning trophies was one of the reasons that you joined this club. What would it mean if you could complete the set? Yeah, definitely, mate. When you come to a club like Wigan, you know, you, you know the standards are it's high, and uh, you know you expect to win trophies. So. Uh, yeah, we've ticked all the boxes this year so far. We're just going to go and get the last one next week. Well, enjoy tonight, mate. Have a good week. Yeah, thanks, pal. Cheers. Nice. Bevan, congratulations. You're in the Betfred Super League Grand Final, but also off the back of what's probably one of your better, well, best performances of the season. Yeah, it was, um, you know, it was a good collective performance from the whole squad. Uh, and I just touched on there a couple of times that it wasn't just the 1-17 to as well. The whole one, you know, jersey number 33, all that sort of stuff. Everyone involved within the squad. Uh, Made sure our preparation was right for, the, for this week. Um, we knew it was going to be intense, a fast start, all that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a great collective performance, but it wasn't just the one to 17 that we've seen on the field, it was uh, everyone involved. You mentioned preparation. You looked like a team that was used to playing on the big stage tonight. How much has that experience of grand finals, cup finals, these big game environments help you out? Yeah, it's, it's massive. Um, I remember the first couple of years when I got here, we, all reaching these stages and we were falling short and um, you know we had such a young crowd young uh, sorry young young squad young middles um, and all this experience all these lessons we've learned along the way of uh, being pivotal you know it's been they paid dividends and uh, you've got to take all the bad uh, with the good and that's what we've done early on at the start of the career and now we're all starting to come good with the experience that we've had before these last couple of years so um, it, it does make a, big, a huge difference um, you know but I, you know, Lee have played in the big games as well. Um, you know, Challenge Cup final last year and KR played big games. So next week will be, um, you know, a really a great one to watch. You've got the trophy for the Bet Fred trial. I'm up for September in your hand, but that one you scored down there in the corner will run it close. It was pretty special. <laughs> yeah, it's um, just a pretty instinctive, really. It's just reaction. I don't, not much goes through my head during those points of time. It's just uh, reacting and backing myself, really, my instincts. So, um, you know, Always I wanted to get awards like this, scoring tries, but um, you know, our defence really was what won us the game tonight. You know, we did score really good tries, but our defence was top tier as well. Well, enjoy tonight, mate. We'll see you at Old Trafford. Cheers, thank you. Nice one. Matty, firstly, congratulations. Uh, another grand final for your team. Old Trafford awaits. You must have been really, really pleased with tonight. I was, yeah. I thought it was a balanced performance from us. Against a tough team, I thought we were excellent at the start of the game and managed to get ourselves in front. But I must say, credit to both clubs for the way Tonight's uh, run as an event. I think what Derek's built at Lee as well, you know, the, the momentum behind that club, they, brought, they came in numbers and uh, our club put a great show on as well. So, great weekend for Super League, I think. Uh, was tonight's performance kind of testament to the journey that you've been on over the last couple of years? Because, you know, big atmosphere, big environment, a lot of stake, and your team looks so comfortable. I think so, yeah. I think we've played in quite a few big games now, and our players know how to apply themselves, you know, and get that emotional sweet spot. And, 
yeah, really pleased. Uh, you've got the Betfred Coach of the Month award for September in your hand. Uh, obviously, testament to the performances you've put in and testament to the fact that you've, you've hit perhaps your best form and your best performances at exactly the right time. Yeah, and testament to the players, really. Uh, they've executed the, the information really well. They've played with commitment. I've got a few excellent assistant coaches as well. So whenever you get these individual awards, it's always a great symbol for, for where the group's at at the moment. Obviously, you've got experience of it. Do you enjoy Grand Final Week, or yeah, is, it, is this about knuckling yeah, down? Yeah, I love this time of year. I love you know semi-finals and finals because you're hoping that the work's been done as a coach and you can do a little bit to get the players in the right headspace. But it's more important that they enjoy it and they're at the right place uh, mentally, emotionally, physically next Saturday night. Well, congratulations. Enjoy tonight. Thank and you. Have a good week. We'll see Thank you, you soon. Yeah. Cheers, man.